Hey you guys, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, welcome to the Blue Chat Ladies for my returning subscribers. Hey girl, hey. We're back again for episode eight. I have a whole playlist created so you can keep up with all of my reviews. Make sure to watch the show actually, get your opinions, and then come back to my reviews. <laughs> but yeah, we're back again for episode eight. And episode eight had me hot. All right, so let's get straight into it. Episode 8 opens back up with Duke and Mac fighting. I really did not care for it. Honestly, I was waiting for it to be over. I feel like Mac is very delusional and Duke it looks a little slow his damn self. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck is going on, honestly. Like, I don't even think any of them punches connected, but clearly they did because Mac was bleeding. And I'm like, when did Mac get hit? He claims he slipped and fell and how embarrassing it was to slip and fall on camera and whatever, whatever. Mac, you're good. <laughs> you're good. I was confused the whole time. Anyways, I don't know what was going on. That little nose you had, he said, I ain't never had my nose bleed, never in a fight. Girl, it don't even matter. <laughs> we don't care. It is okay, all right? Do not be embarrassed. Cashy ends up coming back. I really did want Cashy on the show from the beginning, but, you know, his mouth fucked that up. And that's another example. Like, don't talk yourself out of your blessings. I don't know if it was supposed to go like that or not, but if that was unexpected, yeah, watch who you talking to. You popping in with everybody, you don't know who you talking to. And some people be happy to have authority, so they're going to show you exactly why you shouldn't be talking to everybody like that. So yeah, that's how that went down. But apparently, if Cashy comes back, he's going to be taking Cologne's spot on Ivory's team. But Ivory and Cologne already for a little bond or whatever, so Ivory's not going for it. And period. Like, it's episode 8. Now y'all want to bring him back? Like, girl, no. <laughs> if you bring him back, bring him back so he can be himself, not take anyone's spot. So that was a little off to me. That's just me, though. It looks like Cash and Cologne are supposed to run it. Cologne just kind of didn't see the point. A lot of people was calling Cologne scary for it because she had no problem popping on Joyce. So, like, you pop it with Cashy. The thing is, I'm also not a person that fights for just anything. If I feel compelled or felt like someone needs to get popped, they need to get popped. You telling me to fight X, Y, and Z just, just because? For what? It's unnecessary. And mind you, it's a honey cam line. So, you know, you kind of like move a little bit different. So, I don't know. I grew calm. Like, girl, boo. Kiss my eye. The cast ends up going to the club. Everyone looks pretty lit. The club scene ringing at my vibe. Everybody looks sweaty and stained. <laughs> that is funny. Tashi ends up coming in with Joyce. Well, after she got clocked, the bitch was acting like she wanted to leave. So leave. Why are you still here, ho? If she was gonna leave, then fucking wait. Cashy and Joyce pop up. Fucking Billy threw, threw a drink at Cashy. I was trying to figure out why. Like, shout out to Billy though for holding it down. But like, who, what was that for? <laughs> what was that for? Like, that was random. And I don't like when people come for Billy and the only thing they mention is her weight and her, her, her complexion. Like, y'all are corny. Like, find out things to talk about. We already see Billy's complexion and Billy's size. Please find something else to talk about. Cashy says that Cologne tried to kick him in the head, and the scene cuts into them being outside, and Cologne got her, her wig off and everything. I'm, I'm really not a sneaker. I, I personally do feel like once you sneak somebody, anything, it, it, it's like anything can happen like to you. Like, I, please, because like if you wanted to head up, let's have a head up. But like you sitting here sneaking me. And I asked if I had up earlier. You know what I'm saying? Like, it just kind of, it just don't eat down. So they get outside. It looks like Chloe's kind of getting, trying to get in his zone. Because, like, you on my coattail, you here, you popping up. Can you come and find out? They weren't even invited to the club. So Chloe's trying to get herself together. And honestly, after a few drinks, the voices in your head start talking to you. <laughs> Chloe's getting herself together, and he just runs the fuck up. Chloe is a very strong girl, okay? That is a strong bitch. I don't know. Another thing too, because everyone keeps debating on Cologne's gender identity and like transition progress, bitch. I don't give a fuck. Cologne appears as a girl, so I speak about it, speak about her as a girl. Unless there, see that's the thing. Everybody's pronouns needs to be under their name because I don't know the pronouns. I assume she's a trans girl, right? We only see her appearing as trans. Hello, hello, hello. Not gonna lie, y'all. I thought Cologne's gonna get done up. I really did think Cologne's gonna get hurt. Kalona did her biggest one. Yeah, yeah. I'm just laughing because I really did think Cash was gonna Kalona. I thought Kalona, I'm like, girl, sit this one out. <laughs> Cashy's a big guy. I, I, I can't tell everyone's height, but baby, Cashy looks like he's about 6'5", bitch. I don't fucking know. He, he needs to be an NBA. I don't know what the hell he doing on that TV. 
bitch. Okay, come on right now. Come on, got his one, two, threes together. I'm like, hold on. It took me. I, I thought Cash was gonna take him up top and drop that nigga. I ain't gonna lie. Cologne didn't get dropped at all. But you know, you know what happened next. Here come Joyce with her. Yeah, Joyce, <laughs> Joyce, Joss, whatever. Okay, she here she comes. She ain't got no wig on. I don't know what happened to the wig. Oh, before that even happened, I think Jazz had like came and clocked um Joyce. And Jazz said that she hit Joyce because Joyce threw a drink at her in the club, off guard. So she came outside and she did her one twos. Um, and yet people do people not have eyes? Like Jazz didn't get hit with no lock in the sock. If she got hit with the lock in the sock, her face would have been eh. okay. Zero. Joyce don't even know who to play with. <laughs> okay, so that lock in that sock, boo. And whatever after. Cashy and Colonna's are running there, or I think in the middle of it, whatever. Here come Joyce from her lock in the sock and gonna clock Cologne in the fucking head. I really do feel like she should not be allowed back on, on none of this shit. No franchise, no motherfucking series for doing that. That was corny, that was bad. I think it was probably the lamest thing I've seen in a while. Cologne got you good, 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 with a T at the end, oh, good as fuck, with just his bare hands. You were supposed to come back with just your bare hands. If you got to sneak the nigga, I, I, I don't care what you do. Only use your bare hands. Because they held they hand you the same way. Mind you, this is like for entertainment purposes. If it was in the street now, it maybe be a little bit different. You get what I'm saying? Like, in the street, I can't tell you how to move. But for a TV show, bitch, you so scary. Oh, my God. And to be here that scary, it's just blasphemy to me. Like, I just, I don't know. And Cologne hold it together pretty well because honestly, I feel like I would, I would have dropped to the floor. <laughs> I would have like I passed the out because like I could only imagine the impact of that hit. Metal protection didn't happen right away. They went back to the crib. They went to the hospital. Like, please. Like, that shit was not, that was not okay to me at all. I definitely do think Joss is so fucking scary. Joyce, Joss, whatever the fuck, scary as hell. That was a very pussy ass move. You know what got me to? I even had walked up to Joyce when she had the, the sock. The Joyce like, I, I will hit you with this. Back up. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Whatever, whatever. And I was like, what you got in the sock? <laughs> Joyce, what are you backing up for? You got a whole sock with a weapon. You have a whole weapon. Why are you backing up? What you going to do? You, gonna, you better start doing it real fast. Like, I don't know. This whole episode had me hot. <laughs> let's talk about kenzie real quick okay so i like kenzie i like kenzie on south central season three her and cologne are supposed to be cool and cologne was like oh bitch you said you was gonna jump in for me you was gonna be there with me right by my side type shit and then all that popped off and you're nowhere to be found but kenzie looked kenzie was literally running around with a chicken with her no head like trying to figure out what's tea but like you see what's up like it was mad opportunities to to, to help cologne out and like you kind of like did it and don't get me wrong i understand what kenzie was saying like oh like when you when you run up on somebody and they feel violated however they want to handle it they're gonna handle it you feel me but the thing is once you choose a side you gotta stay there that's the thing you chose cologne side even if you thought it was right or wrong or whatever the fuck it was you chose cologne side so you gotta stay there so for things to pop off in front of you now and you ain't moving on type of way which one was reason and that's a problem I'm an emotional person. I'm a Leo. A fire sign. I'm very passionate. I don't want no logic in times when I'm hot. If you my girl, you my man, whatever's going on, you better be on my side 100,000%. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck what the situation is at all. So, <laughs> off rip, I was really not feeling Kenzie with the logic and the reason because right or wrong, regardless if that's how you move to, I didn't get hit like Joss. So, like, I don't know what, how I would have handled it. But I know for a fact, if I was Cologne friend, she wasn't going out like that, okay? I'm the fuck. <laughs> I'm a very choose a side and stay there type of person. Don't don't piss me off. So yeah, I think it was like a a, a side eye to Kenzie, whatever. But you know, that's the thing. When you pop your shit, prepare to stand alone. Because people be like, oh, I got your back in the whole time. You know? <laughs> so... Everybody gets to the house. Maul starts being weird. I like Maul generally, but like he he he's a little annoying. I don't know why that kind of irritated me. His little discourse with Cologne. Apparently, Maul had dropped the location for Cashy and Joyce to pull up. I don't like that. I don't like it at all. I think that was whack. It's it's mad heads here. Mad of them. A full cast. 
You're the one to drop the location. You're messy. You're messy and you're weird. Cause what does that have to do with you? And trying to fight cologne after an impact hit like that, I don't like you. <laughs> I don't like that nigga no more. I'm like, yeah, no. Real cologne and Ivory had a moment because cologne was a little emotional because he didn't want to scar. And that's always everyone's main concern after a fight. Like, you don't want no bold spots, no permanent scars, no nothing. Like, a little fade, cool, a scratch or two that's gonna heal, no problem. But a, a hit like that with a, with a weapon, that would have had anybody emotional. I don't think Cologne's weak. I think Ivory was trying to, she was trying her best to be as nurturing as possible. Because low key, did Ivory get Cologne in the situation? Eh, no one can tell you to do what you don't want to do. Like, you feel me? They came in as a pact. The next day, Cologne comes in with her scully on. And it's just like, girl, I hope you didn't come to fight nobody else. No more fighting. <laughs> no more fighting. There's no more phasing to be read. That's cool. We cool. We cool. We still don't need to see. They got their footage. Let it go. <laughs> um, the episode ends off with the race car challenge. I didn't care for it. Honestly, I'm realizing Greek life. Y'all wanted to make it other than fighting, but it's boring. It is. Kai's losing her mind because it bumps her while um, go-kart racing or whatever. Listen, who cares? <laughs> Rosé. Who cares? <laughs> please. I just thought it was annoying. Like, it's a fucking challenge. Someone's gonna get... Like, it's... Please. And it's 100K on the line. So, like, let it go. But, yeah. That's my opinion for episode 8. Solid episode. I think it was the second most episode of the season. Um, episode 4. What was it? 5 or 6. I don't know. But, episode 8 was cool. And, yeah, y'all. Yeah. I'll be back again next week for episode 9, so tune in, of course. Comment down below how y'all feel, your opinions. I'm not going to be a little bit biased, y'all, but bear with me. I'm only going to share my opinions and my opinions only. I don't care what anyone wants me to say, <laughs> period. So, yeah, let's just get, let's just wrap this up. But, yeah, um, if you're new here you enjoyed today's review, make sure to subscribe to my channel, of course. I'll be in. Make sure to engage with a lot of my other content so you know what kind of girl I am. Besides the shop reviews. <laughs> but yeah, so I love you guys and I'll see you guys in my next video.